Good morning everybody, Robin Minaya Footer here and today it's time for another match day vlog this week. Overnight we took on Coventry City at the U uh, not Julio, St Andrews Stadium and we drawn 1-1 one -one there by Freddie Lampard scored. And and move on to today we play MK Dons at New York Stadium today. Today I am in hospitality bit at New York Stadium like I told you a few nights ago and my score prediction is going to be 2-1 to Rotherham today and it's going to be something special in this vlog today which you will find out much later in the video. Okay then guys, um, then I'll let you move on into the next bit. See you in a bit. I'm here guys Hello Stephen, we are in the hospitality This is my mum, say hello to him Hi Stephen It's me and my mum here today Hospitality Right, one to pen then Tom Did I gonna, pick one up? We're going to do something now Today it's going to be slightly different. Normally I sit there, but not today though. I'm sitting in one of these today. That's the way fans are going to be collected today. This is MK Dons. It's absolutely brilliant to see. 
bit cold out here though. Christ almighty, the first fans in the stadium already. I was sitting here off at an hour and a half before kick off. I normally come in at two o'clock me. All this bit will be full of it. Part of it, that's off about three of it, I can put it in my beginning dish. This is the Three sponsors. That's the menu. What we we are going to see the food in the second time. And that's program today. Team sheet. I'm outside the hospitality, gonna go my ticket. I'm on row C, seat 36. So, 46, 43, 42, 41, 40, 39, 38, 37, 36. Here I am. Michael Ahekwe. 
Number 22, sponsored by CCH Ward Associates, Nat Olasunde. And number 24, sponsored by Rainbow Skoda, Michael Smith. And on the bench for the Villas this afternoon, number 12, sponsored by Cascade Drainage, Lewis Price. Number 4, sponsored by Pace Financial Management, Sean McDonald. Number 5, sponsored by AB Roofing Solutions, Adam Thompson. Number 7, sponsored by IPW Building Services, Kyle Vassell. Number 14, sponsored by Alpha Punching Machine Limited, Akiba Adamuka. Number 23, and for the first time included in the Match Day Squad, a warm welcome, sponsored by AR Neymar and Sons, to Curtis Tilt. And number 25, sponsored by iNettles, Josh Garoma. Tickets are available for the forthcoming Skybet League One game here at the SCL New York Stadium. It's against Southend United on Saturday, the 14th of March. Kickoffs at 3 pm. Tickets are priced from £23 for adults with a range of concessions prices available. And the price increases from £12 million on the day of the game. The Villas also have main majors. Young Event League One away fixture at the Crown Royal Arena against Rochdale. As on Saturday, the 7th of March, kickoff at 3 pm. Tickets are priced at £22 for adults with a range of concessions prices available. The tickets this fixture are on general sale, but are off sale at 4 pm on Friday, the 7th of March. In goal, wearing number one, Lee Nichols. Number two, captain George Williams. Number four, Joe Moll.
At least it'd be quiet coming out. Of the
Hello guys, it's, it's half time here at New York Stadium. I, I mean, I'm actually back inside for half time today. Uh, it wasn't a bad game so far. MK Downs were a bit of a strong side, I thought. Rather, we're all right. Hoping second half could do me a win. Anyway, I'm going to show you the table right now. This is our table we have to share today. This is mine and this is my mum's. And we have two grown, two grown up in the last few months. People's weight on.
substitution sponsored by KCM Waste Management. Coming off number 24, sponsored by the Labour Scholar Michael Smith. Three points by number 7, sponsored by APW Building Services, Kyle Vassar. Also going off number 16, sponsored by AR Mayor and Sons, JD Lindsay. Three points by number 25, sponsored by High Metals, Josh Caroma. Sponsored by CCH Ward Associates, Matt on a Sunday. Who replaced by number four, sponsored by Pace Financial Management, Sean McDonald's. The fourth official has indicated a minimum of five minutes additional.
Well, I am a bit gutted about three points today, but at least we are still unbeaten. At least we've got a point. I am good about it, but I'm pleased with it. Yes, sorry for today, guys. All leaving now, look. So. But a good game actually today. Later, they're all going to look now so anyway I'll see you here next time when the crowd has disappeared <laughs> just look at it now empty again stewards will start doing things now on seats I've got to go back in there soon because it's a man of match presentation because it's today it's all Benny got the man of the match anyway look at it wow Yes, I'm all sat down again now. I am now cold. You can look at me because you have to wear a salt today. Nice clothes today. Grown up shoes. So, anyway, see you in a bit. Ex Eve training. Can you go for a photo, smile? Yes. That's part of the presentation. Noah, Noah. You better look at your mum or she'll... Uh... Oh. Oh, turning round, yeah. No, you've got to... No, don't bend down, Gio. Just... Put a chair on there for him to stand on. Oh, that's right. Yeah. Here we go. Make sure he doesn't fall off that. Though. That's it. No, that's it. Does he have to face the back? That's it. Whee! Now we come to our birthdays. Happy birthday to Christine, table 25. Yeah, <laughs> But uh, the positive to take from it is the mentality uh, not to lose uh, the champions, the win or draw, and that's the mentality that uh, Yeah, I had a manager who used to say, if you look in the paper tomorrow, that draw looks a lot, lot, lot better. It's a point nearer, on the positive point of view, it's a point nearer to his target. Yeah, I think um, the other results went that way as well. Um, this week and other things um, lost and bruised or... It's a wake-up call. Uh, we need to win every game to, to win the title, and that's what we want to do. We don't want to be second best. We want to win, win every game and go up the sun. Certainly, and you know when it's like that, it's tight. We've got to give him some great credit there. What a hell of a save there. Yeah, that's the kind of dressing we have. Everyone's aware uh, of their jobs, and obviously that they can play safe. That's a massive uh, plus for us because we could have, we could have lost again. But um, that's why the manager said we all need to stick together, even the subs um, and the, the players who are not in the squad. 
because we're going to need everybody and you know moments like that and Dan, Dan popped up to save us and then uh, we just have to move forward from it. What did the gaffer more or less say to you there at the end then in the dressing room? Um, we're obviously we're a good group of lads, um, we're a good human being and we just uh, made, made sure that we need to stay together, put others with us, uh, especially those who end in the squad because <coughs> next week you never know, obviously Dan getting injured, you never know who could be involved. And obviously Jamie hasn't been playing for a long time, he came on, he made an impact. And that's, kind of, that's what we need today. Um, and obviously going forward, in order to be champions, everybody involved. Certainly from your point of view, you're on fire, mate. I can feel it. You're on fire. Um, just trying to do what's right. Um, but obviously, like I said, the managers, um, the management team has unlocked my skills. And I'm just trying to keep my game simple. You know, as a winger, just uh, get crosses in for the strikers. Um, and obviously the strikers, if my strike, because with the strikers we have in this, um, in this league, in this team, my job is simple, get the ball and miss the first man, get the ball in the box, take on the fullback, and we'll have, we will have chances. And unfortunately today we didn't take the chances, but I do believe in my strikers and I believe next week we'll be rectified. Certainly when you're creating chances like that, it would be more disappointing and headache time for the coaches if you weren't creating the chances. Yeah, I think the last one. That's the aspect of my game that I've improved since I came here. Um, missing out the first man, as you said, um, is very crucial for the strikers. It gives everyone a half chance. Um, and obviously, taking on the fullback, um, I will continue to do that. Um, obviously, that's what starts at the top of the table. Everyone pulling their way, everyone knowing the jobs. And all we can do is keep doing what we're doing, and hopefully, um, it'll take us over the line. Certainly, mate. You keep it going because we love you. These fans here love you as well. And all these youngsters. And everybody that's queuing up here, there's young lads here. Chio, man of the match, come and get your photos. Let's come back outside. Woo! Half an hour later, look at this now. Amazing. Right, you your stadium. I will see you on the south end at home on. Fall two for March. So I'm just looking at these photos that Matt Darvish has scored a third point. Three, three, one of sex, uh, success between Derby County and Julio Sunday Ferry 2015. And actually, I was out of that game, actually. Then we, then we ended up 3 all after that. Next one along, I am going to show you oh that's that Wembley in 1996 I weren't even born then I'm about to leave soon anyway that's when I won to go to Wembley football league trophy final we've got even more here Championship Trophy, May 89. A hat trick for Trevor Phillips that was Miller's defeat to Speedy Moore in the FA Cup in 1977. Oh, God, I got to remember that game. Lee Frecklin to celebrate the netting in the 2 1 victory versus Reading in April 2015 to secure Championship survival. I was at that game. I don't, I don't have a video for it anymore because it was old. But I've got to remember that for the whole my life. Oh, guess who's in the mirror? Hi. Rob Steele, here I come next week. There, got Rotherham's got promoted in 1989. Oh yeah, Nick Haben scored a win against Sheffield Wednesday at, at Millmore, Old Ground, in March 70, 1976. And that is it for the today because we are about to leave here now. That was the last ever game at Millmore against Barney in 3rd of May 2008 and they started great to match just then. Lift this. 
before I leave, I'll visit the app. Yeah, no. This is the time, it's now about five to six. An hour after the match finished, but I'm empty. Not about to leave now in the cars anyway. Next time I'll see you when I'm back in my house, in my bedroom. Hello, it's time to end this hospitality match day experience today. Let me tell you the story. Well, last, yes, yeah, not that. Today, we're drawn 1 1 against MK Dons. But today, it was something special. We was in hospitality a bit today, as we won a raffle last week. So, I went upstairs at half past 12 ish. First thing I did, I went outside to check the stadium where it's an empty and we had this dinner in there well lovely that my mum had like if i'm going to show you that right now i know i think i think you might have seen this on video earlier like i'll, I'll show you a recap it anyway this was it yes so anyway let's move on about one o'clock to court, 20 past one is Redis lunch and took some photos, ground and I do be normal things as normal but I had a bit of time inside today as well. Go outside on the hospital had a bit of ground to wish and they give us three team sheets today. I've got two of them today. I We'll watch them warm up, listen to team use announcements, ticket details, everything. But, <laughs> I'm going to laugh, make sure you don't laugh at me now. I've come home with four programs today, from today's game. <laughs> I'm going to show you them right now. Told you I've got four programs. <laughs> Dear me. Anyway, here's my match report. First off, uh, we were all right. MK Dons were a strong. MK Dons were a really, really good side from Russell Martin's team. Second half, we should have won it. But I'm pleased we have points. Well, I'm, I'm a bit disappointed we have three points. If we're right, and then full time we're one one. And then we watched his presentations and, then we, and some photos with two players, old Benny and Matt Crooks. They will come home at 6 p.m. Right, uh, we've got five more home games and five more away games. Right, we move on to next week. Rochdale away at Crown Oils Arena. Yes, I am going to Rochdale next week. And that's going to be interesting because I am going on a coach to it. And then our next home game, it will be on 14th of March versus Southend United. Then we also we got Fleetwood Town away. Looking forward to that. And then also we got Chillingham at home on Sky Sports on end of March. I'll tell you that. Later on, I'll tell you on the South End of video anyway. But anyway, please, please like, like and subscribe to Rotherham United Footy. Thank you very much for watching, and I will see you all at Rochdale next Saturday. I'll see you then. Goodbye.